Paul Barger here. Today I've got something truly special to share with you. A DIY solar panel installation on our converted shorty school bus. We've gone all out with this solar setup, squeezing a massive amount of power into every available inch of space. That's right, we've managed to fit eight 400 watt bifacial solar panels onto the roof of our bus, generating a total of 3200 watts of clean renewable energy. It's incredible to think about the possibilities that come with harnessing that much power on such a compact mobile home. But here's the best part, every aspect of this installation has been meticulously planned out and executed by yours truly. That's right, I've taken on the challenge of designing and installing the system from scratch, utilizing my DIY skills and a whole bunch of determination. So whether you're a fellow schoolie enthusiast looking for inspiration, a solar power aficionado eager to see how we've maximized our setup, or simply someone who enjoys a good old fashioned DIY project, you're in the right place. Join me as I take you through the entire process of transforming our humble school bus into a sustainable, powerhouse on wheels. Hey, Paul. Hey, Ellie. What you doing? Hi. I'm doing a major, huge project right now, sponsored by Santan Solar, my favorite place to get solar panels. If you haven't guessed by now, this is a solar panel rack that we're mounting 3,200 watts on the roof of this bus, eight 400 watt bifacial panels going on this bus. I'm building it all out of Unistrut and I'm Finally, I got all the structure done. I'm finally lifting panels up to put them on. I'm putting on the crossbars right now. So I just wanted to uh, come on here and tell you about Santan because they're freaking awesome. I have used them myself for years and you can get used cheap panels that work great for like, I don't know, 75% off of what they would cost new. It's crazy. Crazy. It's crazy stuff. Why is that um, rack so high? And how high is it, Paul? The reason this panel rack is so tall is because I wanted plenty of space underneath the panels. For one, that we could open our roof hatch, the escape hatch, we could put in uh, vent fans and stuff. But the, another major reason is that these are bifacial panels. The panels have uh, uh, solar cells on the back side of the panel, so reflected light and uh, other light that just hits the back of the panels is not much, but it makes the whole panel overall more efficient. We have a white roof. There should be a good amount of light that's reflected. Plus the panels in between the cells are see-through. So the sun will go through and reflect back up. It just adds in another five to 10% efficiency of your panel and you get a little bit more power out of it. So bifacial panels on a white roof, I think it's going to be a win. Has anyone ever done this? Never. No one has ever, you're seeing it here first guys. No one has ever done something of this magnitude, of this brilliance from my mind. No one has done this. Yeah. So tell us, tell us we're wrong for all the reasons, but hey, at least we're taking risks, trying new things. <laughs> yeah, we're taking risks all the time. Okay. Okay. Great job. You're doing great. All right. Thanks, Ellie. Bye. I want to rewind just a little bit and show you how I started putting on this roof rack. I constructed the entire thing out of Unistrut, so I attached six uprights on each side of the bus. It was extremely hard to drill through this steel, so you can see Ellie pushing on my butt to give me the leverage I needed to put pressure on the drill bit to get these holes drilled. I had to do 24 holes on the bus, 12 on each side, two for each upright. I constructed the entire roof rack out of a material called Unistrut. If you don't know about Unistrut, check it out. It's an extremely useful material to use for these kind of builds. It's like a giant erector set. You can put it together however you'd like. There's tons of different fittings and brackets to put all the pieces together. It's very simple to use, so that's why I decided to go with Unistrut. The total cost of the materials for this roof rack range from about $600 to $700. I kind of lost track after a little while because I I had to take a lot of parts back get new parts but eventually i got it all together and we got all the uprights put together and put up on this school bus all i did when i put the uprights on the bus was sealed each hole with a little bit of butyl tape on the inside and outside of the bus to stop any water from passing through those holes we did a lot of work over a couple of days and worked long into the night i needed ellie's help for a few things to get some of the parts on this roof rack 
Some of these pieces were 20 feet long. And as a matter of fact, I bought all 20 foot long pieces of Unistrut because that was the most cost effective way to do this, cutting them down into the sizes that I needed. But I did want as long of a length as possible on those top long pieces. We finally got to the time where we could put the solar panels on the roof of the bus. I was able to put the back two on one at a time with no problem because I had plenty of space on every side. And then I realized I won't be able to do that with the next two panels and the two panels after that. This posed a problem. After doing all this work for many, many hours, it gets a little old trying to record everything. So you don't get to see all of the panels going up on the roof, but you get the idea of how I did this and it turned out really, really well. I had to put the panels together on the ground and attach them to the Unistrut cross members on the ground and lift the entire thing up in one whole piece. Hey, look who it is. It's that guy. Duty. You know what's so cool? I can see the sun setting on the other side of the bus reflected on the bottom of the solar panel. Reflected in the bottom of our bifacial panel. See? See it, guys? See it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I got it. Yay! No, I didn't get it. Didn't get it. Boo. Boo. Uh oh, I think I got it. I did get it. I don't know if I believe you. Oh yeah, look at that, no hair. Oh, yay! <laughs> yay! That uh, looks pretty sweet, Paul Tholomew. Yeah, buddy. Let me take out the support two by four. So far, we're halfway done. We got four panels mounted. What is that, 1600 watts of solar? It's pretty freaking awesome. We got a lot more work to do. We got to put four more panels up here. But, man, it's going swimmingly. <laughs> I like that that term. Swimmingly. That, that wasn't a fart, guys. <laughs> that was not a fart. It was my shoe. <laughs> it was rubbing on a bus. All right. Well, you're doing great. All right. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. We worked really hard doing this installation, and finally, we arrived at this. Wow, what an incredible journey it's been from the initial planning stages to the final installation of our DIY solar panel array on our shorty schoolie. As we wrap up this project, I can't help but feel an overwhelming sense of excitement for the future and the endless possibilities that this solar setup brings. With 3,200 watts of clean, renewable energy at our fingertips, we're looking at a lifetime of sustainable living on the road. This amount of power isn't just a convenience, it's a game changer that will sustain our lives for many years to come. From powering our air conditioning and heating systems to running our cooktop stoves and air fryers, there's virtually nothing we can't do with this free energy solar farm on wheels. And it's not just about life on the road. This solar panel array opens up a world of opportunities for our off-grid homestead. Imagine being able to drive our bus to any location and instantly plug in, knowing that we have all the power we need right at our fingertips. The possibilities are truly endless. There are no limits to where we can go or what we can achieve. Before we wrap up, I want to take a moment to extend a huge thank you to Santan Solar for sponsoring this epic project. Their support has been invaluable in bringing our vision to life, and I highly recommend checking out their website for all your solar needs. 
You can find the link in the video description below. To all of you watching at home or in a van or in a bus, thank you for joining us on this journey. Your support and encouragement mean the world to us. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to our channel for more DIY and sustainable living adventures. And finally, stay tuned because the adventure is far from over. In the coming weeks, we'll be sharing the next chapter of our solar journey as we install 10 more of these 400 watt bifacial solar panels at our homestead on a ground array. You won't want to miss it, but for now, it's time to say goodbye. Until next time, keep dreaming big, living sustainably, and embracing the power of solar energy. Take care, and we'll see you in another video real soon, right down the road. Bye for now.